Hey, salt. So I got a new toy that I'm gonna unbox here for today and I'm gonna give it a first impressions type of look. Let's get right to it. This is the Logitech G29 driving force wheel and pedals. Comes with three pedals. One thing that I'd like to know, I looked up online that this is actually compatible with both the PS4, PS3, and PC games or Mac games. You get right into the steering wheel, the pedals, and the cables that you need. Let's take those out. Let's just take out the steering wheel. Outside of that, looks like there's nothing else, so I'll just get rid of the box. I am struggling to open this up. Right off the bat, just with looks and steering wheel feel. The steering wheel feels pretty decent in terms of quality. Very close to an actual car steering wheel. The paddle shifters feel great. They're real tactile. Metal too, which is kind of cool. Kind of like a brushed stainless steel. Outside of that, the base feels a little bit flimsy in my opinion. I eventually plan on getting something to rig this up to so I don't just attach it to a desk. I actually want some kind of set up to make it look or feel like I'm in a car. You have all your standard buttons here. They're a little bit uh, misorganized, not like your traditional PlayStation controller would look like. That might take a little bit of getting used to. They're just supposed to be a, a sideline so you don't need to actually pull out another control. Leather looks like it's made of good quality. I'm actually gonna see if I can set this up first on my Mac with Dirt Rally. And then if that's okay, then I'll just go ahead and move it up to the PlayStation sooner or later. All right, so that's the steering wheel. I'll take out the the pedals, got your clutch, your brake, and your gas. All three of them feel pretty different, which is kind of cool. Uh, the clutch feels a little more springy, kind of like an actual clutch would. Uh, the brake seems to have more resistance or more uh, more feeling into it, and the gas is just a, a mash it to the floor type of feeling, which is great. Last but not least, you need it to work is the actual power cable. And it also looks like it has an expansion port at the bottom, more than likely for the gear selector. All right, now I'm gonna try to set it up on the computer here, just on my desk for now, up until I get an actual racing sim rig or something like that. Seems fairly simple, fairly straightforward. On the top, there's knobs to help you loosen that they're actually clickable too, by the way. But they help you actually loosen supports that you would put underneath here. Each side has one. Obviously, you would wanna put your, your pedal attachments and your lever selector, your gear selector, if you have that. So let's attach that first before you clamp it onto the desk. Hoping I could get some friends over eventually uh, to have some time trials or just to have some fun with this thing in a more, uh, in a more setup way, not in, this, uh, not in this crude presentation. Got the power cable up. All right, got all three cables attached. Got the USB that I'm just gonna temporarily run right up front here. Throw a USB hub. And Jesus, you saw that? The steering wheel just rotated on its own. Maybe wait to plug in the USB whenever, until everything's secured. That more likely was in the instructions, but sturdy enough. Not enough to make you have it be believable, I don't think, especially in the seating position, but let's see how it goes. Hopefully it works on the, on the Mac and the game that I bought here. Hopefully you can see that. Dirt Rally's on there. Looks like it's still working, still thinking. Dirt Rally quit unexpectedly. Well, that's not good. Reopen. All right, got a bit of a crash. Let's try to restart the computer. All right, so I wasn't able to hook it up with the Mac. There's limited support on which games you can play. Hopefully uh, when Dirt 5 comes out, they'll have Mac support. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna hook up the PS4 Pro to it and uh, try to get the video done this way. All right, it looks to be working. Okay, we got audio. Oh, the steering wheel is definitely, definitely much tighter once the race gets going. Let's give it some gas. You can definitely hear the feedback. Shaking the desk up a little bit. A little bit of a learning curve. Brake pedals are sliding around a little, or the pedals, just because they're not really secured onto anything on the floor. One of those people just smacked into me and you can definitely feel the feedback on the steering wheel. It kind of pings you in the other direction. Tough. Let me try to see if I can secure these pedals a little bit better and then I'll get back into it. See, I knew my gimbal would come in handy. All right, guys, after going through one race and it was just the intro race, obviously, I'm pretty impressed with it. I think uh, it feels a little bit flimsy at times and you can only hear the live audio in the room. So you could probably hear how loud and how much vibration it gave the table here. So Lord knows how long this table would last clamped up to it like that. Probably tell. 
I'm a little bit sweating. For now, I'm gonna give a, a couple more people a try, see if they wanna give it a go. I've had the Logitech G29 for a couple of weeks now. I've been messing with it on and off whenever I can find a, a chance. From the video portion where a bunch of people drove it for a couple of seconds, they're not really actually uh, gamers. They really got a kick about, out of it. They really got immersed into it, which is really the point of peripherals for video games. You're supposed to forget that you're playing a video game. So you're supposed to feel like you're racing a car. As for me, someone that's more of a gearhead, it takes, I think, a little bit more to get me immersed, to convince me that I'm in it. That probably will take a racing seat, something that would fully mount the pedals so they don't move anymore and go from there. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching the video. Catch you in the next one. Later. I don't think I'm gonna do that just yet.